our members are our customers, and we can't get better until we make customer satisfaction our number one priority. How can we achieve this? In my opinion, this is achievable through the concept of Rotary First. To be a better Rotary Club, it is imperative that we connect our members to Rotary. I was at Rotary International recently, and I was shown the results of a survey that indicated there was a tremendous gap in the amount of knowledge we as Rotarians actually know about Rotary and what we as Rotarians should know about Rotary. Compared to other organizations, we were at the very bottom. So our members really don't know that much about this fantastic organization that we belong to. But when do members learn about Rotary? Our fireside chat only covers a small portion of what our members should actually know about Rotary. Rotary Leadership Institute, or RLI, is a great place to learn about Rotary, but what percentage of our members actually graduate from RLI? As a Rotary Club, shouldn't we allocate at least one program a month as a Rotary program? We have district speakers who would love the opportunity to make a presentation to your club. Many clubs have knowledgeable members who with a little time and preparation could give an excellent Rotary program to your members. With all the Rotary YouTube videos, DVDs, and PowerPoint presentations available, they make perfect programs to help educate our members about Rotary. There's actually enough material online that you could have a Rotary meeting every week for the next year and not go through all the material that's available for you. But it does take time and preparation to download. With access to the internet and with all the information available about Rotary, our members should be encouraged to take it upon themselves to learn more about Rotary. One cannot be a Rotarian just by saying they're a Rotarian. One should be proud to be a Rotarian. One should wear their Rotary pins every day with pride. One needs to stop and reflect and appreciate the concept of that, what Rotary actually accomplishes in this world. One should become a better Rotarian in order to make their club a better Rotary club. We should strive to make our members friends rather than acquaintances. We cannot become a better Rotary Club until we become friends first. The makeup of our membership has changed. Older Rotarians are from a more structured background, such as corporate and military, but many of our new Rotarians are self-employed. Up until around 1990, about 80% of the workforce drew a paycheck from a company. In today's market, it's 40 some percent. So one of the reasons that our members join Rotary is to socialize. They're looking for friends. Our founder, Paul Harris, said, friendship is the glue that holds a Rotary club together. Some might consider it a selfish reason to join just for the friendship, but having friends is as important to one's health as breathing. We say we know each other, but do we really know each other? How can we become friends if we don't have the opportunity at our meetings to develop better relationships? The more we know about each other, the better friends we become, the better our rugby club becomes. You can't learn much about a person in a one-minute vocational presentation or a three-minute classification speech. Rather than giving a stranger 20 minutes to sell us on his agenda, why not give a couple of your members 8, 10, 12 minutes each to give a personal vocational presentation about themselves? Many clubs are now doing this and their members love it gives the club and the members the opportunity to know more about their members. Every Rotarian should be inspired to attend the district conference. The district conference is actually a gathering of the clubs, so clubs can share ideas. Members can experience friendship, gain new friends, network with other Rotarians, and most importantly, they can enjoy the Rotary experience beyond the club.